Yenka Electricity and Magnetism lets you simulate a power grid to illustrate the different energy needs of factories, neighborhoods, and homes, as well as the transmission methods that serve them. To get power to the factory, drag the high voltage pylon onto the stage and wire the terminals to the power plant. To draw a wire, just click on the yellow terminal on the power station, move your mouse to the yellow terminal of the pylon, and click again. A wire will be drawn. Do the same to link the black terminals. Next, Add a substation nearby and wire this to the pylons. Because the factory has high energy requirements, the transformer can be set to a low ratio. Double click on the substation and set the ratio you need in its control panel. Wire the substation to the switch and the factory will begin receiving power. For the neighborhood, you can connect a separate set of high voltage pylons to the same point at the power station and wire them together as before. Connect the yellow terminals and then the black terminals together. Yenka also lets you use low voltage pylons, whose wires have a higher resistivity. To add more connectors, double-click on one of the pylons and change the number in the Properties pane. Connect the substation and make the ratio higher to accommodate the neighborhood's power needs. Once everything is wired together, throw the switch and watch the lights go on. A single home, of course, has far lower energy needs than the other consumers. In addition to the low voltage pylons, which can be wired to the existing high voltage pylons, you can use underground cables to connect it to the grid. After dragging a substation nearby, and changing the substation's transformer ratio to produce a voltage which is suitable for domestic needs. You can also double click on it to make it transparent so users can see the inner workings of the transformer. Throw the switch and watch as current lights up the house. 